What's going on guys? It's your boy Terry by Reacts here and I'm back with the season opener of Vikings season 3 episode 1 is here today and I have to say I'm enjoying this series very much. You guys know how much I'm enjoying this. So last season, let's do a quick recap. We got rid of King Hork and now it seems like Ragnar has taken that role because now he has the Sword of Kings, which was introduced in the final episode of last season, right before um, King Horik introduced it to his son. He's like, if you do this, you will get this sword, whatever, pass it on to you, whatever the situation is. Seems like Ragnar ended up with that sword. So, cool beans. Okay, just fidgeting with something here right so i am curious to see how we're going to continue as i said before in my last review i have a feeling that this is a start of a great relationship with king Edward. i think they have similar views on life itself you get what i'm saying like how they want to proceed forward i think i think ragnar and king Edward kind of have the same um the same kind of in things that influence them they want to know more about the world they not just want to be in this box of just being oh i'm just gonna conquer this and conquer that they want to know more about the world um they just want to know more they're curious people you know what i'm saying so and they're great warriors in that sense also even though i haven't seen king Egbert do anything on the battlefield other than use a strategy a roman strategy to defeat the vikings so far so we're gonna jump into this season man with um nothing but high expectations of course this show has been getting better and better by every episode so i don't expect it to be you know all stupid now all of a sudden in season three i mean the show is still going on but we all know with the Game of Thrones example that it not all ends well that starts well. So so let's hopefully they don't botch the ending of Vikings when it comes along. I, I'm still like I don't know how many seasons are there. I think I think they're in season five or something of Vikings. I'm not sure. But I'm definitely looking forward to see my girl. Lagatha, again, Bjorn, all the good characters, man, even Siggy, you know what I'm saying, Siggy with the savageness at the end of the season there, he's like, <laughs> Blood Eagle, man, from last season, definitely epic moments, so let's jump into this, man, as you can see, I have the dope-ass background, okay, with my boy, Ragnar right here, you know what I'm saying? Like he 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 looking saucy right now, you know what I'm saying? Like great background, man. Um shout out to the people that created it. I did not create this. <laughs> okay. Shout out to them. Okay. So let's jump into this episode, man, and go see what season three is all about. Okay, let's do this. All right, so here we are back here once again for the review season three episode one man epic episode as I said man As we go along in the series, you know, it is increasingly um, It's increasingly hold on. Let me do something here Before I continue because I think I messed this up a bit um Yeah, <laughs> I don't want to be there, but okay. Let me slide myself over. They keep looking like I'm looking elsewhere. I don't want you guys to think that. But anyways, yes. Yeah, so this episode was pretty cool, man. Um, it, the, the, um, the episodes of Vikings or the seasons of Vikings, I should say, progressively gets better. And I like that. 
I like the fact that it gets better and better and better and better and better and better. And I just it just hypes me up to even um, get to the point where I want to binge watch, but I can't because I have so many other series that I'm reacting to. But every now and then I'll try to do some double uploads, of course. But um, this episode, man, very good. Um, I don't know what Rag what is going on in Ragnar's head, and I think that's where the script is going for this season where is that it's very confusing what's going on in his head right now because i don't know what he's thinking because we know he loves oslog so but that inter the interactions earlier in the episode didn't really reflect that anymore for this new season so it's like why are they at odds does he resent her for keeping ivar you know what i'm saying like the you know like does he resent her for keeping him you know, um, it's just maybe he does fall out of love with her. Maybe he's trying to get back with Lagatha. Um, maybe he blames her for coming into his life and, you know what I'm saying, and ruining that, you know. I don't know. I don't know, man. I'm just spitballing here, just trying to figure out what's going on in his head. So they decided to go back to King Edward. I think King Edward genuinely wants to wants to have a great relationship with Ragnar. He's so he, he is he's so soft around him. You know what I'm saying? So I, I don't wanna I don't wanna say I don't wanna say soft. Soft is not the right word, but he he looks at ease. You know what I'm saying? Like he looks at ease around them and I think he's into Lagatha, which would be cool. Um which would be cool. Um maybe that's the reason why him and Ragnar probably will end up being friends. I don't know. Cause maybe cause Lagatha is looking for marriage. He got a dude that he that she left at home, um, betraying her and stuff like that. After he was introduced as a quote unquote good character, to so she left him to um to look after stuff. And now he's gonna be in league with Einar trying to get rid of Lagatha. I don't know. She might come home, and she is not Earl anymore. But she doesn't have to go back. You know what I'm saying? Like, at this point, I think they should just stay in England. Because, I mean, those conditions. Like, they should just bring Kattegat over to England. You know what I'm saying? Like, the conditions they were living in through the winter. Oh, my God. That was. It's too much. Like, it must be really, really bad winter in um where they at. I think it's in norway right if i'm not mistaken you guys can tell me exactly in the world where uh, not where they filmed it but where these these events actually took place or where the vikings were based out of i know they were based out of they did like um somewhere alongside denmark Nor norway somewhere around there so just let me know in the comment section anyways great things to come forward um i'm really really worried about bjorn and prune and the reason why i'm worried about them is like i feel like he's too he's into her so much and what she doesn't understand is especially if she's with child like bjorn is going to be on the field worrying about this girl constantly and it's going to make him lose focus and ragnar is seeing that and i know ragnar is going to pull him aside and say listen bro um, this is not going to work. <laughs> you know, you're my son and I want you to be here with me. But if that's going to be a problem, then we got to deal with it. It's either you got to be stern and let her know you need to stay home or both of y'all go simple. If that was me, if I was Ragnar, that's what I would say to him. You know what I'm saying? Because she's not listening because she wants to be a warrior so bad and i'm all for it if you ain't pregnant but if you pregnant that shit needs to stop like you need to go sit your ass down somewhere and make sure the man's baby is okay okay you can't have it both ways and she's so thirsty for blood you know what I'm saying? To be in the midst of battle, wanted to be a warrior, whatever the situation is, that she would put all that in jeopardy just so she could get some kills. No. Nah, bruh. Calm down. Go sit your ass down somewhere. You're pregnant. Okay? Um. 
yeah, so that's basically it. That's all I have to say, man, when it comes on to this episode was pretty was pretty good. A lot of story development. The relationship with Rolo and Siggy is not so good. Um, but Rolo is, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know why she's acting that way, Siggy, because Rolo, in his own right, you know what I'm saying, should be extremely upset with her. Because you, oh, I was doing this all for you. Uh, no. You were in league with a man that, if given the chance, it wasn't to get information. You were actually plotting. And then when you saw that it was a better opportunity to not betray Ragnar, you decided not to. But that whole, all the last season, you need to remember that you were doing all of this betrayal to get Rolo in some sort of power position, right? And you went about it the wrong way. So I don't know if she's, um, I don't know why she's not showing Rolo no love. Um, so I'm guessing that's going to be expanded upon during the season and I'm all for it. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Um, as I said, man, love King Egbert character um i don't know if he's playing them but if he is it's gonna be a huge surprise to me i think i think he genuinely wants to be friend with ragnar and them it's just um there's certain things that they have to do does um does king edward still wants to take over mercia or does he want to get rid of king ale that's another thing too because him and king ale are supposed to help the the princess to take to take the kingdom and then they're planning to overrun it so i don't know how i don't know if that's the plan that they have oh let's let the vikings do all the work and then we just come in and clean up i don't know i don't know if he's truly infatuated with lagatha like that all, I, all i'm saying is that if he is planning something behind the scenes he's playing a damn good character for it okay so I'm looking forward to everything that's going to happen, man. This season looks like it's going to be really good. They killed the uncle. So just the um the brother is left, right? So we're going to see if they're going to take them out too or they're going to surrender. You know, if they're going to surrender um, and give up, we'll get to see that. So thank you guys so much for tuning in, man. Make sure you hit that like button before you leave. Also, leave a comment. Subscribe if you're new. And remember that more Vikings to come. Thank you guys for tuning in. Terabyte Reacts. Peace.